Hey guys, what's up? Sherry here from Real Flex Giving Crew. So, another great is gone. Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park uh, died this morning. He took his own life. Um, pretty sad about that. He, he was a great singer. So, let me just turn it down here. Oh, it's interesting little card that came along. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing that I did with Chris Cornell. Um, I'm just going to pull three random cards. There's no position. I, the question is why, okay? There's no past, present, or future position with the card. I just, I'm asking the question why. Okay. So these cards are... Uh, I'll just leave it in the link below. Can't remember the name. All right, here we go. Why? Wow, the world card. This is a completion of the fool's journey. So uh, this is going through every stage of evolution, waking, you know, being through the fire many, many times. So the final piece of the puzzle is being placed. Um, so what I'm feeling from this is that he felt that it was his time that he had done everything that he could do, and uh, yeah. Okay, so next card, two of pentacles. Um, so this card represents balance. You know, um, what I'm feeling from this is being pulled in two different directions, trying to maintain balance, um, and the inability to do that. Um, Hmm. You know, maybe it could be stardom and his, you know, regular life being pulled in different directions and maybe that was, you know, causing a lot of problems for him. Okay, well, let's carry on. All right, next. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, interesting. So, you know, this is another completion card. This is like a retirement it's gaining abundance and success uh, not placing a lot of importance on um, the material world so it's like you know he had everything <laughs> that he could ever desire but for some reason he wasn't happy um, you know this is uh, kind of like a happily ever after but it is in the 3d world so, um, you know, it's having family and friends around and um, just feeling stable, secure. So definitely another completion card. So I'm going to pull one more um, clarifier for the two pentacles, please. Knight of Swords. So this could represent an air sign, but this is, you know, a quick movement, very dis decisive, very fast, in and out. Um, so that coupled with the Two of Pentacles, it was like a quick decision, you know, because the Two of Pentacles is a decision, and it has to do with the 3D world, and uh, Swords is communication, decision, uh, the Knight of Swords is like a champion, um, he comes in, he fights for a cause, and then he's gone again. Um, hmm. And, you know, we, we know that he's had struggles with, you know, suicide in the past as well. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull one card from the Osho Zen, and then I'll read that message. Chester, what message do you have for us? Turning in. So what I'm feeling is, you know, a lot of mental noise. And Four of Pentacles also represents um, feeling disconnected, um, bored, in the Rider Waite deck anyway, but in the... Osho Zen, it's a little different, so let me read that to you. It 
sorry. Okay, so turning in. Okay, so it says, the woman in this image has a faint smile on her face. In fact, she is just watching the antics of the mind, not judging, not trying to stop them, not identifying, just watching as if they were traffic on the road or ripples on the surface of a pond. And the antics of the mind are slightly amusing as it jumps up and down and, and twists this way and that, trying to get your attention and seduce you into the game. To develop the knack of taking a distance from the mind is one of the greatest blessings. It is what meditation is all about, really. Not chanting a mantra or repeating an affirmation, but just watching as if the mind belongs to somebody else. You are ready to take this distance now and to watch the, sh the show without getting caught up in the drama. Indulge yourself in a simple freedom of turning in whenever you can, and the knack of meditation will grow deepen and deepen within you. So what I really felt from that is, you know, like what these other cards do. It was his time. He he was done with the drama. He was done with the mind, you know, these negative thoughts, these negative people in his environment. And um, he feels that like he accomplished all that he could. And, you know, the decision to take his own life came very quickly is what I'm feeling with this and it may have been as a result of communication because swords is communication uh, but it's almost like I feel he did it because he just you know what I feel is he couldn't take these thoughts anymore he felt that he provided all that he could, he did all that he could, and, and it was time to go. So, yeah. Let me know if, um, you know, if you guys see anything else in the cards. All right, love you much. Peace.